Hello there, Croissant, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lamux, and I'm here on Cod Vanguard for the free trial weekend that they're doing, and it is to coincide with the festive fervor event, which is a Christmas themed event going on with some tasks to do, which can get you a nice uh, blueprint, nice new weapon, and there's some uh, new maps and new skins and all that sort of stuff but what I'm really looking at is the actual event and how to do it and more importantly how to find those elves from Elf Team 6 and how to get Krampus to spawn let's see uh, there's a nice little aesthetic change as well everything looks all Christmassy and festive and it's a good fun event a bit tricky to uh, figure out what's going on but I'm going to look at uh, getting some of the elves and in all the multiplayer maps uh, you'll eventually find these elves that spawn you need to basically kill 10 of them to complete the event they'll be making little sounds uh, they'll, you'll hear them laughing uh, just to help you know when one is near but what you really um, but what's important is that they're not in the level straight away. They spawn about halfway through. But I'm going to uh, just stop talking just so you can uh, hear the laughing, hear what I'm on about. Got an enemy dog free. They're driving us back! <laughs> yeah, once you uh, can identify the sound, it's pretty straightforward to find them. And with uh, the Krampus, it seems a bit random at first, but there he is appearing. But if he spawns at hunt, the person on the team with the lowest objective score. Now, I've tried to force him into spawning by doing nothing, basically just being idle at the beginning of the level, but it didn't seem to work. It seems to be sort of random when he spawns in. And if he this even spawns in, I've had games where he doesn't. He only seems to spawn on the Armageddon game mode, which is one of the, the game modes of this uh, festive area. As you can see, it says I'm being hunted, but as quickly as that appears, he will disappear for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because I've actually started playing and doing stuff, doing objective type stuff. But. Once he has spawned, you just got to uh, hunt him down. And as long as he is defeated, you do a significant enough of damage to Krampus, then you'll be, he'll award you with, he'll say that you've eliminated him or that you've helped eliminate him. That does count towards your event score. But we're looking at now the Armageddon game mode. And this is quite fun, even if it is on, not on, even though you can only play it on standard core. Uh, when I play with my friends or when I play at my friend's place, I usually play on hardcore. And it's usually been for the last uh, month or a few weeks actually, it's been a ship house that we've been playing. The mode that was just looping between shipment and that house. Uh, that's a nice thing. Uh, a nice pretty new pretty version of shipment where everything looks very festive but disappointingly you only get that version of the map when you play the shipment level and i'm not swearing there that's actually what they called it shipment but yeah when you get to a shipment on say armageddon or one of the other game modes then you just get the standard map which I was a little disappointed with, I hoped all versions of Shipment would have this pretty new festive skin. We're uh, going to look at a separate, look at the Armageddon mode. It works a bit like a uh, hard point. You get a point that, in the map that you need to control. Once you control that point, or once someone does control that point for a certain length of time, it will spawn Santa in who will start airdropping care packages into the level and it's from those that you can get the kill streaks. Your normal kill streaks will be disabled and here we can 
Santa coming in and he's going to drop care packages into the general area of the defensive hard point. So this is the only way you can get kill streaks in this mode. Whatever ones you have picked yourself have been disabled. And the only way to get points is through kills and kills with kill streaks. So getting those boxes is kind of important. But holding the point isn't necessarily as important. The only reason you're holding that point, that capture point, is to basically spawn Santa into the map. So you start getting these care packages. And they're not even restricted to the team that holds the punch. If you can sneak in, then you yourself can pick up those care packages right from under the enemy team's noses, which is something I kind of like doing. It's a nasty shock for them when they think they've got this these care packages protected and all of a sudden it gets picked up and they see an enemy player just lying on the ground behind the box which is a very valid way of getting this done so just gonna leave you with the rest of the uh oh actually another point that this uh the found the mode is all the casings and all maps so you can uh, blitz assault tactical casings which are based on the number of players in the map uh, blitz is what I generally prefer because uh, I love my chaos I find tactical or assault and especially tactical just to be uh, too slow too, too much patience required too much tactics required there will be some people who would like the potentially competitive side of Call of Duty but I like the pure chaos side of Call of Duty which is lots of grenade spans, lots of death, lots of running around and lots of chaos. So I'll show you the, uh, so hopefully you from this uh, that you get an idea of how better to complete this uh, test of event. You end up with a blueprint for a, a weapon. This uh, event can be completed either in Vanguard or Warzone, but I just do it in uh, Warzone. I was sneaking this into package. Caught someone by surprise there, trying stealing them under their nose. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't play Warzone. The, uh, not a huge fan of the Battle Royale game mode mainly because I die a lot and I like game modes where <laughs> I like games where I can spawn in again and again even if it means just running straight to my death much uh, preferable to the drawn out type of game mode you get in Warzone it's about being careful and staying alive it's just, uh, just uh, run in with reckless abandon and start unleashing all hell my trusty combo of light machine gun and the piercing vision for so that's the uh, game mode of armageddon i hope i've helped you understand how to play this event a bit better so i just want to say dioch and thank you for watching